Would you like to avoid turbulent flights? Well, I'm going to tell you how you can avoid turbulent flights when you're flying in the United States. If this is something you're interested in, stay tuned. Hey fellow travelers, this is Norman Payne from Up, Up, Up and Away. Thank you for stopping into my channel and welcome back. Would you like to avoid turbulent flights? I know everyone dislikes the bumpy ride, the shaking of the aircraft, but you can find out how you can select a flight that is not so bumpy. That means not having so much turbulence in the air. There is a way. I'm going to tell you the most turbulent routes in the United States. So picture this, you're 35,000 feet in the air, you're soaring along, and then all of a sudden the plane starts shaking violently, it starts being bumpy. Even the seasoned traveler grabs onto their armrests. This can be a very nerve wracking experience, and to some people, scare the hell out of them. But fear not because there is a way for you to find out if your flight is going to have turbulence. As someone who flies a lot, I experience a lot of turbulence throughout my travels. So I'm kind of used to it, but sometimes those flights can get a little eerie when they start bumping and shaking and rocking and rolling. Nobody wants that. So listen up. There is a new tool out there to help you navigate these bumpy rides. But first, what is turbulence? Turbulence is, by the FAA definition, turbulence is air movement created by atmospheric pressure, jet streams, air around mountains, cold or warm weather fronts, or thunderstorms. Now, thanks to a new tool called Trubilium, Trubilium is a tool for travelers to find out about the turbulence on the flight they're going to take. Their website states that their goal is to give a traveler the most accurate information about turbulence on the flight that they're getting ready to board. Turbulence can happen unexpectedly, even when the skies are clear. It can cause injury to passengers and flight crew because of not being buckled in. This is why the captain and the flight crew tell you to always be buckled in if you're not moving around the cabin. For those people with fear of flying, turbulence only increases their anxiety and will have them scared as hell. The report that came out when Turbuli came up with this new tool, they took 150,000 flight routes in the United States and they looked at each one of them and was able to tell you which one had the most turbulence. So what routes have the most turbulence? There are about 10 that I'm going to give you so you'll know if you're getting on these planes that you're going to experience a little bumpy ride just because of the areas that you're traveling to or taking off from. For the report, they took what they call an eddy dissipation rate, and that is how they determine the level of turbulence. Now, some pilots say that turbulence goes a little bit too far for them. They think that just a little bumpy ride is just enough for them not to be able to drink their coffee. But for some people, they want to know if that ride is going to be a little bumpy or a lot of bumpy. So here are the 10 routes in the United States that will probably experience the most turbulence. Nashville to Raleigh-Durham, Charlotte to Pittsburgh, Denver to Puerto Vallarta, New York City out of JFK to Raleigh-Durham, Warwick to Syracuse, Atlanta to Dallas, Pittsburgh to Raleigh-Durham, New York City LaGuardia to Portland, Boston to Syracuse, and Boston to Philadelphia. 
There have been more serious injuries due to turbulence in the last few years, but it has been mostly flight attendants because turbulence can come at any time unexpectedly and the flight attendants are moving around the cabin more than anybody else. So that is where the most of the injuries are being recorded. Just remember, always keep your seatbelt buckled when you're sitting in your seat. I know it seems a little uncomfortable, but it will be to your safety factor to have this seatbelt on during your flight. Despite the discomfort of turbulence, the FAA says that most planes are able to withstand turbulence and a plane will not come apart while it's in the air due to that bumpy ride. Even though if you're sitting on the wing and you see those wings flapping, it looks like that wing might pop off, but it is made to take turbulence. So have no fear. As a traveler boards a plane, just know the safety guidelines and be aware of your own safety and buckle up when you're flying and you're not moving around the cabin. If you take these precautions, I guarantee you're gonna have a smooth flying flight, regardless of the bump, the shake, or any of that little turbulence that you might get. But, Turbuline, they will help you map out the turbulence on the next flight that you're gonna take. Well, that's all I have for you today. If any of this information was helpful to you, please leave me a comment. Let me know the most turbulent flight you've ever been on, where it departed from and where it landed. I would love to hear about it. Also, like my video and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you'll know the next time I upload another video. That's all I got. Until our paths cross again soon, i see you then. Peace. And please like this video, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Also follow me on all my social media. Just hashtag up, up, up Norman, where you will find my Facebook page, my Instagram account, my Twitter page, and my TikTok page.